So I'm traveling today to this country called the Philippines and the country's tagline is it's more fun in the Philippines. The taxi to the airport fun, boarding the plane fun, leaving the plane is even more fun, getting your local SIM card is finally fun. Welcome to the Philippines! The Uber to the hotel, welcome to the Philippines! Check in at your hotel, welcome to the Philippines! Buying a McDonald's here is also fun. Welcome to the Philippines! Starbucks, welcome to the Philippines! Subway, welcome to the Philippines! A corporate job, still fun. Welcome to the Philippines. Yeah. Traffic jams are also more fun in the Philippines if you're not in the car. It's so fun in the Philippines that if you go and ask random people to smile, smile, they will smile back. <laughs> Even security guards, smile. Welcome to the Philippines. That's what we see you tomorrow. I want to see if I can have food, water, shelter for the whole day for $0.00 here in Manila. I gave up my valuables, my drone, and my entire wallet and checked out of the hotel to hit the streets. It's a bad idea. I cannot take buses or taxis. I cannot eat out. But what I can do is rely on people's generosity. For water, I say I'm thirsty. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. So I'm a Muslim, I'm also Muslim, that's why uh, if the people is very thirsty, much better to eat. For food, I say I lost my wallet and leave. You ran after me? Yes. Why? I'm happy. So I'm just wearing my glasses. Unbelievable. But for shelter, this is a bit hard. I say I'm stranded. I ask one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people, and then I meet this guy. Why, what, what happened to you? I mean, it's a long story. He takes me in, buys me food, offers me his home, gives me his bed, and doesn't even want to be filmed. There is still good in this world. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Money. I don't like spending it. That's why I like the Philippines. It's very cheap. A full day tour at this island will cost you 20 bucks and maybe $25 for this one. A haircut for $17 in Hong Kong. Here you can get it for $1. An Uber ride for one hour will cost you $3. Welcome to the Philippines. A romantic date for two will set you back $15. Now, you're not gonna go on a date, island hop, and get a haircut every single day. But what I think you might like to do is drink. It's so cheap in the Philippines that this bottle of rum costs $1.10. For that price, I can buy 30 bottles to get the whole village drunk for the price of two cocktails in New York City. Enjoy! <laughs> and the best part is that while you drink your cheap drinks, you can make friends with locals because they all speak English in here. Mabuhay from the islands of the Philippines! <laughs> These islands are gorgeous, but watching it from your phone, you will get bored after five seconds. So let me tell you what makes this place incredible. Above water, it's heaven on earth even when there is no sun. But it's not just what's above the water and on the water that's beautiful, it's also what's hiding underneath. You have the gazillion small fish that love you and the gigantic fish that does not give a damn about you. There is a Japanese shipwreck hiding right under your feet. And if salt water isn't really your style, there's always a lake hiding behind these rocks that'll take your breath away. That's why this place is incredible. That's one minute! See you tomorrow! If there's one minute, you get with! It's the mayor of Volcano! She's standing in a perfect cone structure at 2,463 meters high, which is 65% of her sister Mount Fuji in Japan and three times that of Burj Khalifa in Dubai. But it's not her appearance and height that make her so majestic, it's her personality. Mayon is shy. She is so shy, she hides behind the clouds all the time. In fact, some say her husband are the clouds. And when you finally see her, she is beautiful. That's insane! 
she is angry. That tip of hers erupts every three to five years. That is deadly angry. But best of all, she is perfect. The most perfect human being nature has to offer. That's Mayon. That's One Minute. See you tomorrow. For the past five days, I've only stayed in the richest parts of the Philippines. And so it's easy for me to believe that all of the Philippines looks like this. But it's not. Only one cab ride away from here. You arrive here, at the Trash Mountain. Where people live in such extreme poverty that the air is unpleasant to smell. But this isn't just this area. 25% of the Philippines live under the poverty line. It's incredible that under the same city roof, you can lunch like this and dinner like this. Green stuff coming from the ground means it's beautiful nature. In this case, it means there's so much trash piled on top of each other that it formed a mountain where actual people live and plants started to grow. The country's tagline is, it's more fun in the Philippines, but I think a more appropriate one is, it's more fun in 75% of the Philippines. One I said it before and I'm gonna say it again, the Philippines is cheap! Which means you don't need many dollars to come here and see this piece of beauty. But it also means you don't need many dollars to help those that need help. It's so cheap in here that we can buy this burger with meat and all for 20 cents. 20 cents! And for that price, you can buy a thousand of these burgers without breaking the bank. And in a place where people are so poor that trash forms an actual mountain, you can form an actual mountain of food for the price of one average hotel stay in New York City. And with that, you can feed up to a thousand people. Yes, cheap prices mean better tourism, but it also means it's not that hard or expensive to help those in need. That's one minute. See you tomorrow! Hi, it's my last day in the islands of the Philippines. I'm sad, but here is everything that I like about this country. Go! It's a country with more than 7,000 islands, which means this and this and this exist here. This volcano and this volcano also exist here. The prices, they are so cheap you can get a whole village drunk or another poor village fed without breaking the bank. But reality is in some parts poverty is so extreme people live on top of a trash mountain or at a graveyard with the dead. But you can google all of the above. What you cannot google however are the people. They will be generous, they will feed you and they will host you without knowing you. They will build good startups and they will party like crazy. But best of all, they will be your friend. Real friend. The country's tagline is, it's more fun in the Philippines. But I don't like that. A better term is, there's more love in the Philippines. Bye bye, Les. That's one minute. See you